Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Dark and today we're playing New for Cup 3 Princess and the Grub. In episode 2, we saw Eva who was plotting with an unknown character to kidnap Princess. Let's see how these events unfold, shall we? Post office. Post office employee. So I said to him, I, I don't care if you're the son of the counselor, your parcel will reach you when the postman feels like it. <laughs> you showed him, alright? Just because we deliver letters and parcels, people think that is our job. But it is your job, y you are at the post office. Ah, shut up. This is a private conversation. If you feel like it, your parcel will never reach a destination. <laughs> you can't treat the common people this way. Someday someone will rise up against you. <laughs> oh yeah? Who's gonna stop us? I will. <laughs> what? Oh no, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> drag. Howdy. I'm Drag. Look, it's our hero, the most handsome man in the Righteous Kingdom. Cool kid, drag. Okay, yeah. Okay. I get it. It's a kid reference. We are saved! I'm gonna have your children, drag. <laughs> in a moment. But first, I must vanquish the evil that plagues the world. That post office. Your badassness doesn't scare us. Yeah, you may be the scum of the bottom of the earth, but you can't stop all of us. <laughs> Maybe I can't, but he will. What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, he's using a freaking dragon. <laughs> Go get him, boy. <laughs> oh god, he's killing us. We shouldn't have challenged Invincible Drag. He did it. Who can drag vanquish the evil known as Post Office? Oh, hail our awesome drag! Drag, 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 drag! Un, drag, uncle, uncle, drag, uncle, drag, <laughs> uncle, drag. It seems like uncle drag has finally snapped. It seems like it. Mina, call the mental asylum. I will knock him out. <laughs> oh, what? Huh? What is? What is it? Oh, he, he came back. Knock him out just to be safe. <laughs> Sorry, I was lost in thoughts. So, what do you guys think of my plan? Well, I can see at least two problems with your plan to vanquish the evil post office. Oh, really? I thought my plan was perfect. Y your first problem is that I'm pretty sure murder is illegal in this country, no matter how right you feel about it. Even if it was legal, you'd be the first person six feet in the ground. Okay, well, maybe you could just go and beat him up instead. And that will be our second problem, because... This dragon doesn't know how to fight, remember? It doesn't even know how to fly. Hmm, you two make a solid point. In that case, I will try to pass petition to legalize post office employees' bloodbath. <laughs> whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, easy, mate. Meanwhile, I want you both to teach the dragon how to kill. Yeah. Yeah, put the children into... yeah. Yeah, put the children in charge to, to teach a dragon how to kill. Yeah. Good parenting. Really good parenting. Even if it's... Even if it's the uncle, I mean... Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, let's roll with it. What kind of person tells his sisters, children, to train a dragon to kill just what I said? <laughs> I told you we should have knocked them out when we had the chance. Let's go, Mrs. Snuggles. Oh, she's, you, you're calling the dragon Mr. Snuggles. Oh, well, everything's possible, I guess. And another thing, uh, change that name. It, it doesn't suit a future killing machine. Ah, whatever. It does fit through the door, so... Eh. I should also get going to the rail board to apply for the petition. Drag Morris, Mr. Snuggles, Ina and Mina Yell added to profile section. Police badge added to evidence section. Alright, so 
do we just have to go or can we check some ooh keys added evidence here it is it's always the, like the last place you look because if you still keep looking you have mental problems ah okay so we needed the keys to okay oh is this that's that's a bug oh well i'm a monkey so i i, I get to sit in my monkey tree <laughs> oh look another sunny day i better invest in some thick black curtains Step 1, go into the post office. Step 2, unleash the dragon. Step 3, laugh. <laughs> and this is supposed to be a cop with an evil plan to destroy the post office. Hmm. Yeah, valid, valid. I once tried saying bloody Gary in the mirror three times. All I got was a note saying you're already dead at the end. You don't need my help. <laughs> uh. Come on, man. I once found a backdoor to some magical land in this closet. Oh, please, not Narnia. Come on. So I sealed, so I sealed it shut. <laughs> yep. Don't get a line out of that kingdom. It leads you up. Oh, look, another sunny day. <laughs> oh, yeah, we already had that. Conversation. My bad. I had it custom made to be uncomfortable, so I wake up grouchy every day. <laughs> every day, okay. <laughs> Well, I think you're the only person who wants to wake up that way. Oh well. Dear diary, today is the day where I shall follow my dream and destroy the post office. There will be sacrifices. I'm prepared as long as it's not me. In case I die during this battle, I want the world to know I freaking hate you all. Damn. <laughs> uh, my home. Got it very cheap because someone was practicing black magic here with chicken and shoelaces. Sometimes I hear sounds at night, but they are mostly telling me to get alive. <laughs> now then, I should get going to the royal palace. Telma Street added, added to evidence. Who's that over there? Hello? Adventurer. The forest and river forms a natural border between the two kingdoms, but it also means dangerous animals can come by here. Okay, so what do we have here? Dark Leap Forest. Survivors will be given golden medals. <laughs> wow. This route goes to Dark Leap Forest. I need to go to Royal Palace. Yeah, it's to the east. I, I know. But I'm just checking out. I don't want to miss out on anything. Rex House. Solicitors will be thrown literally. <laughs> hey, look at that. It's a puppy. No, it's a dog. Bark, bark. What's that, Lassie? Timmy fell down the well. Good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Neighbor, don't come near me. I might get infected with a depressed attitude. The one you have isn't exactly shiny either. <laughs> oh my god. The Drowning River. This river forms a natural border between the Adventure Kingdom and Balboa Kingdom. In short, in case of a war, this place will be the first to be destroyed. Lucky me. <laughs> Back in my days, we didn't have walkways. You kids have it easy. Says the lady who gets retirement funds. Ooh, snap. Hey, chicken. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because the king is incompetent. <laughs> who is it? Hi, but my name is Greg. Do you have time for a lord and savior tomato god? <laughs> Jack hears multiple locks being locked. Okay. Why would you say that? Who thinks that? Who thinks about that? It's ours. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't know what we're expecting either. Farmer and son's are home. The old man's not home. He should get his farm. So, this game is not the same like, um, yeah, you know, Zelda and um, Pokemon, where you just wander inside of... Uh, where you just barge into, yeah, strangers' home and just steal items. Hmm. Beware of a dog. The kids are not angels either. <laughs> not knock. Who's there? Drag. Drag who? The deranged man who has been living a few houses from yours. <laughs> and then you wonder why they don't open the door. <laughs> or answer your mails. Or pick up the phone. 
Good morning, Dreg. How are you today? Same old, wishing the earth would blow up things. How are you? Just looking after father here, who looks like he could pop dead any second. I'm sorry for your troubles. Ah, that's okay after all. This house will belong to me as soon as he hits the dust. Oh. Yeah, you really care about your father. You really care about your father, damn. Old father, it seems my harvest of cabbage is almost ready. Those aren't cabbages, old man. They're carrots. Nonsense, can't you see how red the cabbages are? It is a proof that they are healthy. I think you have cabbages stuffed in your brain. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm um, perhaps not walk onto the field. <laughs> Farmer Sam, the carrots business is not going well. Not since the king accidentally sat on one. Ooh. And how did that happen? Mm, you know, probably best not to know. Ah, so another house. Which I cannot interact with. Oh. No problem. We'll continue. Oh, well, hello. Soldiers at the bridge. I will first need to file a petition. Then I will need to get signatures of people. Hey, look. Here comes a fist victim. Okay, guys, act uh, natural. Uh, Alright, act natural. I don't have to worry about the dragon since the twins are natural at destroying things. Greetings, traveler, and welcome to the royal palace. Uh, what? Who? What are soldiers doing here? Oh, uh, you see, there is a new law in the royal palace where you need to pay a tax to cross the bridge. I thought trolls were supposed to live under the bridge. <laughs> Besides, I never heard of this law. That's because it's a really brand new law. Like, right, right now. Look, I'm already short in time, so why don't you hassle someone else? I'm already late as it is. Not paying the tax is breaking the law. I might have to arrest you now. Stand back, guys. I will handle him. It seems these people will not listen. This calls for... A medieval debate. <laughs> don't try to resist. You are in medieval debate. Defeat your opponent by choosing the proper response for the enemy and defeating them by reducing their health to zero. Any wrong choices you make will result in damage to drag and five wrong choices can result in game over. Health is restored at certain points in the game. Would you like to save the game? Yes, please. The soldier blocks drag's way. Um, okay. This feels like an under undertale. Yeah, this is the, this is definitely Undertale uh, reference. So let's talk. I don't know. Laugh at him. Try to distract him. Ask him how day was. What? <laughs> Perhaps act. Pay the toll. Dodge and run. Dance. Go back. Dodge and run. <laughs> Jack tried to dodge a soldier and run, but two others blocked the way. Okay, so that was not it. Okay, so randomly dance. Drag tried dancing in front of him. The soldiers back. <laughs> the soldiers back off, thinking Drag was possessed by something. <laughs> okay, apparently that worked. Um, no, go back. Um, items. What? Police badge. Oh, that will be effective. Drag showed the soldier his police badge. The soldiers are not afraid because all soldiers look the same, and identifying them would be next to impossible. Drag's plan failed. Oh, got down. Then talk, I guess. <laughs> Laugh at him, try to distract him, ask him for his, <laughs> ask him how his date was it okay. So, um, how was your day, officer? This, this is the first time someone asked me that. <laughs> Dude, calm down. <laughs> it actually worked. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? <laughs> Laugh at him, try distracting him. I don't know, try to second him. Look! Two people of different races are talking friendly to each other. <laughs> where? Where? That <laughs> yeah, was a complete success. <laughs> the soldier fell from exhaustion. Oh my god. This is too much, man. Damn! It's impossible to talk to this guy. 
Ah, forget it, let's just gang up on him. These guys are persistent. I must find a way out of this. End of the line, pal. Stop in the name of peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Who the hell is that? This is the last day you jump out scum will harass someone. Who's the woman? Did someone escape from the mental asylum? Don't worry, you're safe now. I, Felicia Leinhardt, will protect the people of Rachel, even if it means death. Can I get a refund on that instead? Your time is up. You better surrender before the count of three, or else... Hey, uh, isn't that the armor she's wearing belong to the Crow Squad? Really? Then we should run! We will really be killed at this raid! I'm starting the countdown. Three. Wait, what? What did she do? She went and beat up the victim. Rule number one of Crow Squad. Always give a false countdown to fill the targets. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> Why is she beating up the victim? I don't really know, but we should take this chance to flee from here. I will teach you to harass three people at once. Dude, she's still beating him. Let's just walk away, we, we didn't see anything. I apologize for your actions, I might find it in my heart to forgive you. Since I'm a good person after all. She just beat up the wrong... Yeah, okay. Now don't harass any more people, otherwise I might not be so lenient next time. <laughs> Night, day, rain. There's some strangers that are passing by. Emily, someone is lying on bridge. It seems so, Ethan. What should we do with this one, Emily? It is too late to call the doctor. Let's just bury him. But you didn't even check his pulse. No need to check. Can't you see it from his miserable face that he died a long time ago? <laughs> I said I am the victim, you stupid woman! Oh, a... how long was I out? Emily, you said he was dead. He was! My shooting voice must have brought him back from the dead. Emily, you're awesome. Oh, a hello. I'm Dreg. Thanks for waking me up. Ethan, is he hitting on me? No, Emily. He's clearly hitting on me. The hell? Sorry, Mr. Dreg, but my brother and I are married to our jobs. We are sorry for breaking your heart, but we must take our leave. Goodbye, my beloved. Wait, what? What happened? Why do all weird people come to me? You say weird people, I say interesting people. Hmm. Felicia Leinhardt, Ethan and Emily added to prof the profiles. Okay, so... Continue to the royal palace, I guess. Oh, great, more soldiers. Um, hello? Did you happen to see a weird woman with green hair who was jumping around like a monkey? <laughs> Saw her? Pal, I was attacked by her. So, she started targeting people outside the city. You should tell a guard when you see her again. <laughs> okay, she's a, she's a rogue one or something, I don't know. Ah, just... yeah. Okay. Get out of the way, peasant. Can't you see the mighty merchant Dullard coming through here? So, are uh, you the owner of the luggage or are you the luggage itself? <laughs> Mouthy little peasant, like you should know your place. Says the guy who looks like a roly poly bag of sack. <laughs> Groundhog. Dabby chubby. <laughs> How rude! Now, get out, I have a ship enough at most important. What's in the carriers? What's in the carriage, Fluffy? Impudent little. If you would like to know, it is filled with turnips. It's our major export to other countries. You would have known this had paid attention in school. Now, if you will excuse me, I have to go to the docks to ship this. That's a rude mer merchant. Really a rude merchant. Another weirdo. Today has been such a delightful experience. Yep. I don't get it. 
Why can't you accept my petition? Like I said, we cannot accept any petition which can harm human life or any of their rights. That's exactly what I'm saying, the post office people are not human. Sir, could you please leave now? I demand to see your manager. Oh no, is he a Karen? Or a Kyle in this? Yeah, okay. What's all the noise about? Captain Bulldark and Counselor Ice Lots. Well, look what the dragon dragged in. How are you, Drag? Awful. The people are not accepting my petition. Is that true, miss? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Good job. <laughs> I knew it. The whole system is against me. Counselor, what do you think? Maybe Drag here can help with our problem? I usually don't judge your decisions, Beldark, but are you out of your mind? I admit it, Drag here is a Drag here is weird, crazy even, but the situation calls for such drastic measures. I can hear everything, you know. Alright, Cap Beldark, but he's your responsibility. Did, did you people just ignore me? You can count on me. I'll take him to the situation room right now. That will be good. Meanwhile, I'll try to look at <laughs> That will be good. Meanwhile, I will try to look into different methods from now. <laughs> they ignored him completely. You got no choice, Drag. Drag, something serious has happened, and we need all the help we need on this. Why should I? You didn't even accept my petition. Well, if you successfully solve the case, the king might personally look into your petition. What do you need of me? That was fast. Well, we can speak here. Follow me to the situation room. Okay, cancel Iceland and Captain Bulldark. We're added to the profiles. The royal palace is added to evidence. Why? I could just go the other way, but no, let's, let's, let's follow them. Is, is that Polly? <laughs> yep, it's Polly. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh, is he okay? He just went into a little shock after hearing what happened. Captain, would you do me a favor? Uh, sure. What do you need, sir? Would you please open a window? I would like to jump out now. I would love to, sir, but then I would be charged with accessory to, su to suicide. Captain. Oh, uh, what? Tell my wife and kids I love them. <laughs> That's really dramatic, Polly. Oh god, what is he doing here? Captain Boulder, thank god you are here. Officer Polly is suicidal. <laughs> is that so? Allow me to put an end to his miserable life. Ah, oh, luck. Death has already come for me. Where is your scythe, Death? This looks serious, but I know how to bring him back. This may hurt a bit, Polly. Who am I kidding? This will probably hurt a lot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a medieval debate. Okay. Wake the hell up, Polly. Why? I'm so much happier here. Polly has lost his mind. Tease him, call him names, insult him. Punch him, kick him, poke him. <laughs> Let's fucking kick him, yeah. Let's do this. Try to give Polly a roundhouse kick. <laughs> Angry, who, what, what? He's responding to physical therapy. <laughs> Polly has lost his mind. So, okay, let's punch him then. Drag punched Polly as hard as he could. Try Drag, it worked. What do we have? Yeah, the police badge is not going to work on him. Peace and call him names, insult him. <laughs> Just insult him. I know you were a huge fan of Princess Sarah's Melody Knights. I also know you have a lot of her merchandise. Can I sell them after you die? Brit, sat rat. <laughs> Some reason mentioning Princess Sarah made him more depressed. Oh god. Call him names then, I guess. Polly the potato headed idiot. Polly just stared blankly into the void, so that was not good. Okay, so I just have to open then, I guess. I don't know. Ouch. 
<laughs> Drag book Polly in the eyes. <laughs> He's responding to physical therapy. So, st stop, stop. What was that? I couldn't hear you me beating you to the ground. I said stop, you freaking monster. <laughs> so we just had to beat him up. Okay. Stop hitting me already. You're welcome. For what? Beating me half to death? Really, I'm pretty sure I beat you at least 90% or something. You belong in hell, don't you? Can we please concentrate on the issue at hand now? What? Oh, yes. Drag. Something terrible has happened. Princess Sarah has been kidnapped. Seriously? How? That's what we are trying to find out. Since you were able to help us in the dragon case, I thought... How do we even know she has been kidnapped? For all we know, she's just playing around somewhere. That's what we thought too, but even after searching all possible locations, we could not locate her. Besides, the princess were not allowed to leave the room without an escort, who is currently standing over there. I see. I will try my best to find her. You're awfully eager today. Don't get me wrong, I have an ulterior motive for this. Yeah, his petition. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Talk to people and search the for clues. Find all the clues to advance the story. Okay, let's go from left to right. Again, another statue that was broken. Hello. We got some more. We got some gifts. We got a teddy bear. Book, chests, a maid. A mirror, piano, a bed with a fluffy toy. Two fluffy toys, I guess, on it. And a bedside table. Okay. I can't click on the rubble. I can check the statue. Something was here. Probably a statue. I'm guessing the rubble is what's left of it. Hmm. Look at all these presents Princess gets from her fans. There are even some that are the size of humans. Hmm. The culprits have come via the presents. I should remember this. Can't check the teddy bear, okay. This must be her lyrics, writing book. Let's see. Some fight to protect, some fight to destroy, many fight to gain something. No matter which route you take in life, everything is controlled by desire. The lyrics stop there. This must be when she was kidnapped. There were many songs written here. I better make a list for reference. Since there are many songs written here, I better make a list for references, since I don't know any of her songs. This chest is empty. For a room this big with so much stuff, it's pretty surprising. Okay, this is closed. Let's wait to talk to people. That's a huge mirror. I can't even see my hatred for mankind through it. <laughs> That's a huge mirror. I can't even see my hatred for mankind through it. <laughs> uh, okay. This is... This is probably the instrument she uses for checking her songs. This must belong to the princess. I guess no matter how old or famous you get, girls still love dolls. Girls still love dolls. I personally find them creepy though. Looks like this teddy bear was torn during the struggle. Rest in peace, little cuddly friend. Oh, I can just walk over that, that side table. Okay. Time to talk to people, I guess. Have you found the princess yet? Lady, I just got it. Give me some time. Now, I need to ask you some questions. Oh, uh, okay. Start by telling me your name and your job. My name is Martha, and I am the personal maid of Princess Sarah. Okay, give me a testimony. Alright, Martha, can you tell me exactly what happened to the princess? It was a day like every day. In the morning, Princess Sarah was writing a new song for her band. She was planning to work on a song the entire day and had no desire to leave the room. No one was to disturb her. Even me? The only reason I was allowed to enter were during eating times. When did you notice that she went missing? 
when it was lunch. She wasn't here nor anywhere in her usual places. Does that mean she was here during breakfast? Yes, yes. So, if her testimony is true, the princess was abducted between breakfast and lunch. Security strength. I want to know exact details of the security around here. Well, to begin with... This room is the only room on this floor. However, this floor also serves as a connector between the king's chambers and the main royal court. For the princess's privacy, soldiers have been stationed on the stairs of the floors. Isn't that risky? What if someone climbed the wall to get to the princess's room? There are guards stationed below. Someone scaling the wall will be caught within seconds. Besides, there is another security feature. The big door you came through has a special locking system. Once closed, the room is auto-locked with a mechanism and can only be opened with a key. I see, so even though people go through here, they cannot enter on their own. Yes. The only one who possesses the keys are myself and the princess. But what if the princess lets someone in herself? For her safety, she is not supposed to respond to anyone at the door without me. Since I wasn't present, she wouldn't have opened the door even for the king. So then how the hell was the princess kidnapped? If I had known, I would have told you, wouldn't I? So then, this can be only described... So then, this can be only described as a locked room kidnapping. Well, locked room. Yeah, indeed. I remember episode 1 as well. We don't know where the criminal came from and left here, uh. So what? Are you saying this is a locked room murder? Possibly. Why am I remembering that case now? Uh, officer? Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you for the information. Please stay here until I check everything. Fine. I think I have already a clue. It's exactly the same thing. So we got a statue. We got the... Yeah. We got the boxes. Or a chest. It's quite unclear. But yeah. Let's check Polly again. Why? Why would someone kidnap the princess? That's a pretty stupid question. A better question is why was she kidnapped now? Why are you calling stupid? What is so special about today that the criminal waited till now, considering the fact that nothing about security changed? Uh, I will ask around and see if anything was different. We should also check who went through here to narrow the list of suspects. The only people who are allowed to come through are the royal family and counsellors. It will be suicidal to doubt them without any proper evidence. Hmm, I see. So we need more evidence on this. I'll see what I can do about that. That's everything I could check. I should see what the others have got. Oh, okay. Didn't need to talk to, to Bulldark or Captain of the Guard? Okay. No problem. So, did you find anything, Drag? Nothing. That could tell me anything about the princess or the culprit. Did you find anything about the visitors? According to the guards, the only people that went by the corridor were the royal family and the four councillors. We can't suspect them without solid evidence. For all we know, this is a trap to mislead us. Great. Just great. So I have no leads, no clues, no princess and no sign of the culprit. This is starting to give me a headache. Should I bring some coffee to lighten the mood? I like my coffee black, like my soul. <laughs> I can also get some... This is... This portrait. When was it drawn? You have a good eye for art. The princess had made it two days back. It was delivered this morning, though. I know this. That's the statue! The culprit is still here, Tira. It's the same freaking statue! Are you crazy? We checked everything. We checked everywhere. Where can the culprit be hidden? It's not where. It's what it is hiding us. I think I know where the criminal was hiding. I'll need to check that location again. What, so go back here? So, that was actually confirmation that Eva was here. 
Miss Martha, when did you get this statue? Oh, the broken one. It was a gift from one of the princess's fans. I think it was about a week ago. But we checked the statue. There was nothing in there. No, this whole time everything was a trap. Drag? Robert never left the room. The person simply disguised themselves as something else. You can't mean the statue was... Just stop hiding and come out now, please. And this was exactly the same thing. I'm going to skip through this because I already know how this went. Eva. Eva. This is bad. We need to act quickly if we have any chance of saving the princess. Bulldog. This is very urgent and you need to trust me on this. What's the matter, Drake? I want you to see every exit out of this kingdom as fast as possible. Learn to see everything. What are you thinking, Greg? This will upset a lot of people. Why are you so sure? This kidnapping is extremely similar to another case Mantira handled. The culprit first hit herself in a wooden barrel. In this room, the items close to that is... A present. Yes. The culprit, the culprit came via the presents. But... All the presents are checked before being delivered to the princess. That is why the culprit needed to disguise itself as something that looked human but wasn't one. I am confused. The culprit has the ability to stay motionless for hours, so the most practical disguise for her was a statue. Ironically, the culprit disguised herself the fur as the very thing she had done in the last case, as a statue. That makes sense. Cobra disguised as a statue gifted by a fan looks possible. If what you say is true, then the culprit waited till the princess was alone for a long amount of time and kidnapped her. The culprit is called Eva. And she's a spy from another country. She is also strong, so we need to be careful. But how did she manage to take the princess with her? Build our time is short. We will discuss it later, but we need to secure the area first. I I understand. Ollie, I want you to meet Drew Valerius, our boss. He's been investigating Eva and might hold some more information. I'm on my way. Be careful. We're dealing with someone we... We're dealing with someone who didn't hesitate to kill her if we make a wrong move. If another country is involved, I'll need to speak to the king about it. Since it is daytime, you must be in the royal court. Okay, so all that... All this is added to the normal section, uh, the evidence section. So let's go. So, um, the royal court is where? Over here? Oh, sorry, mate. Didn't want to go over there. <laughs> yeah, this is the correct way. Oh dear, 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 oh dear. Your Majesty, please stop panicking. And Fire Zariah Slot is right. You need to calm down, Your Majesty. Those smartest minds are on the case and they will find the princess in no time. If sir, uh, <coughs> if you started panicking, uh, who do we look at? Your Majesty. Yes, yes, Sir Eisen. Please calm down before Sir Eisenlot gets angry. Otherwise, we will all get the scolding from him. By the gods, you're right, Sir Eisen. I don't want to go through that again. I will pretend I didn't hear that. If you got any news regarding the princess yet, we are giving our best, but the situation is far more complicated than it looks. But who oh, would have thought that someone would actually kidnap her when the security was so perfect? As much as I would like not to believe it, but I think this was an inside job. That's very sus. <laughs> this is just like an Among Us game, isn't it? Find the imposter. <laughs> okay, let's put one of those people we just saw in front of our main suspect and what we just heard them say. Who would we choose? Mm, I don't know, but I kind of think that the blue woman, uh, Raven, is it? I think it's a self report thing. Like, she said that it was an inside job. I mean, who would think about an inside job immediately? I don't know, man. 
They are puzzled. They don't know what to do. You can search all you want, but you will never find her. My plan is perfect, like me. How many months do you think I worked to accomplish this? Do your people really think you can break this plan so easily? Soon, you and all of Raichu will bow before me. This country will belong to me. I can hear it. My song. It's dark, gloomy, and full of death. This song will soon be heard by all the people of Raichu. Song. That seems like... Something... It's a hint. The main culprit is talking about a song. The princess also has songs. So, maybe there is a connection. Main culprit. And no one, I mean no one, can stop my plans. Oh, good, you're all here. Wh what? I bring urgent news regarding the kidnapping. What? Did you find the princess? No, but we identified the culprit. Her name is Eva, and she's a spy from another country. What's this? How did they find out? Why, why does it feel like the song is changing? I don't, I don't like this song. For now, we stopped every transport going in and out of Raja, be it land or sea. How? 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 How can my plans start falling so easily? No, I haven't found her yet. I can still solve the situation. Ah, uh, I remember you. You're that nut job from the dragon case. I prefer the term actively crazy. <laughs> How can you be sure? Do we have any solid evidence on it? The method is same from the previous case. I've asked for more information. It should be coming soon. Yes, yes, I'm here already. I seriously can't get a break, can I? Oh, come on, Bess. Try to think of happy things. Why did you bring her? She insisted on coming, besides, wasn't she with you on the dark case? It's better to have both of you here. This is great, I finally get to nail that bitch. Language, young lady. You're in the presence of the king. Besides, I have a better word to describe the culprit. I'm afraid to ask the word he's thinking. Can we get back to the case, please? Uh, right. To start with, the culprit called Eva is a spy and the lawyer was working together with her. After the murder, we checked every part of his estate and we found some books that went on describing his hatred for the king. Oh dear. There wasn't much about the actual plan itself, so we weren't ready for the attack. This doesn't help much. Do, do you have anything remotely connecting to this case? Let me finish. We, we found a piece of paper. It didn't make sense at first, but considering the case, it's probably related. Have a look. Two out of four. The king and four corners, while one corner is colored black. Hmm. Isn't that today's date? Oh, okay, two forums. Okay. Yes, at first I thought it was some sort of code, but since the kidnapping happened today, I'm also sure of that. But what does this drawing belong to? Hmm, it looks like some sort of square with its corners marked. I also believe that this sketch in the square in the square is a crown. Oh my god, Captain Obvious here. <laughs> but one of the three one of the corners is darker than the other three. What is that? Why is that? A giant square with a crown in the middle, four marked corners with one painted black. I think I know what this is referring to, but the question is, how do I make the others understand this? Alright. Meanwhile, in another location. Oh, that's a princess. Where am I? This does not look like my room. I remember being in my room writing when suddenly... Ow. My head hurts. Sorry for being rough, but I am a person who doesn't like holding back. Oh, it's Eva. <laughs> what? Who are you? Me? I'm just one of your fans who just wants an autograph and... Who the hell do you think I am? It's obvious that I'm the kidnapper. Why, why are you doing this? What do you want from me? Oh, come on now. 
I don't want to ruin the surprise for the little party we're having for you. You, you can't hold me here. I will escape the second you look away from me. I see. Hmm. You, go by the door. Come in here. Yes, ma'am. What is your name? It's, it's Samuel, ma'am. Tell me, Sam, do you have a family? No need to be shy. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Wife and two kids. I see. That's good. <laughs> no! Are, are you okay? Please be okay. How could you do, do your own comrade? Kindness is a virtue that holds people back. If you even attempt to leave the ship, I will slaughter more. Sh ship? <laughs> Are we clear? Y y yes. Good. We should be hitting international waters soon, and this long mission will find the end. Reporting, madam. Yes, come in. <laughs> what happened here? Just a work related incident. What do you have to report? We. Well, we, we are almost at the border. Excellent. But, but some Raichu Navy ships have caught to us and are telling us to return to the harbor. What? Why? Did they find out about us? It seems they are blocking out all transportation going out of the country. What should we do? How many ships are there? Three battleships. <sighs> In that case, just comply with them for now. Our inside man will find a way out. In inside man? How didn't you know, Princess? The one who helped us in this kidnapping was... One of the four counselors. <laughs> no. They're all close to father. You are lying. <laughs> Am I? We'll see about that. But here's a question for you to ponder while you wait. Which counselor is the traitor? Try to think about it a little. Ooh. That's what we are going to find out. Waiting here will not do any good. I will need to talk to the king about drawing groove found. I will need to talk to the king about the drawing groove found. I also need to pass my petition to slaughter the post office people. Come on, mate. Really? They won't allow me near the king yet, so I'll first need to speak with Gru about this. Um, Gru. Gru is, yeah, my... Yeah, it's, he's the captain, the police captain. It's good to know that you're making a conscious effort in this case, Drug. Don't get too happy. I'm doing this for my petition to kill the post office people. I see. So, what can I do for you? I need to speak to the king about the drawing you bought. You brought. Hand it over. Do you have some clue regarding it? Should we discuss this with everyone? I'm afraid that is the problem. I can't speak much now, but trust me. Hmm, alright, but be careful. Any sudden movements and the guards might attack you. You can now approach the guard, uh, the king. Yeah, the king. <gasps> Very suspicious movements. <laughs> Your majesty, may I have a word with you? Oh, if it isn't Dreg, the worshipper of the tomato guard if I'm correct. What business do you have with the King Officer Dreg? We don't have much time, so we'll get to the point, if you don't mind. There is a traitor among us. What? What makes you so sure? First is the security around here. Now we can get to a chamber without passing through the guards. The only people who went through that path today are the councillors and the royal family themselves. But, but the councillors are like family. Why would they do that to us? Besides, wouldn't it be more besides wouldn't it make more sense if one of the guards did it? I thought so too, until I stumbled upon this clue. Mm, let me think. Ah yes, the parchment. I suppose that's the piece of paper he just received. The parchment we recovered? Yes, we already established that the criminal in both cases is a spy named Eva. Gru also discovered the fact that they were working together on some kind of plan against the king. But, but, what does the parchment say? Let's take a look at it. 
This is... Yes, I slot. This person has terribly handwriting. Terrible hand Terrible handwriting. Uh, I think advisory and I, I think advice Islot was pointing out it was the numbers on it. What? What really? What do is the what does? What do these numbers mean? The numbers are probably referring to the date. The numbers represent today's date. Oh, you're right. It's it is today's date. So, this plan was being worked on from back then, eh? Yes. Cooper took all evidence of the plan with her, but she might have missed this page. But still, how does that connect to the four counselors? It's the image below the date. It looks like a square with some symbol in the middle. I believe the symbol is of the king. The sketch obviously looks... This sketch obviously looks like a king's piece. Oh, you're right. Is that supposed? Is that supposed to represent his majesty? Yes, and uh, notice that the king is enclosed in a box with its corners marked. I think the corners of the box are supposed to represent the four councillors. Yes, the four councillors are are considered the cornerstone of the government, if I am correct. Yes, the councillors are quoted that way. But, one of the corners is painted black, does, does that mean... Yes, it represents a traitor among them. We will need to interrogate all of them and find a traitor. Well, well I... I... We don't have the time, your majesty. If they have an account... If they have a... We don't have the time, your majesty. If they have a counselor on their side, then they will probably slip past security. But, but... Your Majesty, please stop panicking. We can interrogate the council without your permission. <laughs> your Majesty, please stop panicking. We can't interrogate the council without your permission. The king is in trouble. Oh god, not her again. And those who heard the king beware for I Felicia Lionheart will stop you till you ask for forgiveness. A person who will do more than that if I. St <laughs> person will do more than that if I. St <laughs> A person will do more than that if stabbed. I think. I see my target prepared to be stabbed. Oh damn! She actually went for it. That hurts. Why did you dodge? Uh, lady, you were about to freaking stab me. So what? You're a criminal. You you deserve to be stabbed. <laughs> How do you even function? Uh, I wasn't attacked, Miss Lionheart. Ah, shut up, you old man. Oh, she talks like that to the king. That's no way to talk to the king. Apologize, this instant. Oh, sorry, I thought he was just a bystander. A uh, by bystander? That is enough. Your Majesty, plus tell us what to do about the four suspects. Hmm, as much as I hate to, I will allow it. But for now, let's keep this private until we are sure who is the criminal. In that case, I will secure a private room and assemble everyone there. Miss Lionheart, I want you to accompany Drake and support him for the case. Wait, why are we letting a criminal conduct some investigation? What, what is going on anyway? She doesn't even know what's going on. <sighs> this is going to be a long day. Awkward silence. Can I say something? No. This is a dumb plan. Just do as you're told and everything will be fine. I know, it's just... What? It's a dumb plan. Look, we're short on time and if you have a problem with this plan, you're free to go. Nah, I'd rather see you crash and burn. <laughs> if you kids are done whispering, we would like to know why we are here. Ask him, I'm, su I'm just supposed to be the support. What is going on, Drake? Shouldn't we be looking for the princess? We are just doing that. What does... What's that supposed to mean? But we just hurry it up. I have to get to the docks as early as possible. The docks? Okay, that was actually very sus. But okay, let's continue. Don't worry, it will be prob... Don't worry, it will probably take a minute. Can we please move this on? 
Uh, right. All right, everyone. The pun is really simple. In front of me is a box. Each of you has been given a paper. Each of you must vote on the issue given. Don't worry, the votes will remain anonymous. What exactly are we voting about? We are voting for which one of you kidnapped the princess. What? Are you accusing the council had a hang in the kidnapping? Are you out of your mind, Officer Drag? Is this supposed to be some kind of joke? Hmm, sir, but stay quiet. We have proved that dictates one of the counselor was planning on betraying the king. We already have the permission from the king. The rest is up to you guys. I don't know what devil. I don't know what devil words you fed the king, but it's not working on me. I'm going now. Don't try to stop me. I thought you had something meaningful to discuss, but you disappoint me, Drag. Will... will it help? Sir Abbott? I'm asking whether this will help in locating the princess. Surely you just, Sir Abbott. How is this going to help discover things? It will work, Sir Abbott. All I need is full cooperation of the Consul. In that case, my fellow Counselors, let's get this over with, shall we? What are you scheming, old man? I agree with Sol... I agree with Sir Law, we are wasting valuable time here. Surely we can spare five minutes to place the ballot. It's not like we have any more leads at the moment. Fine. Let's get this over with. I don't know how I'm going to face myself tomorrow for giving in to this. Damn it, Abbott. If I'm late for my appointment with my beautician, I will demand compensation. Alright, let's start voting! I hope this works. Sir Abbott voted, Sir Eisen voted, Madame Raven voted, and Sir Lower voted. Until now, my main culprits... Well, I can already say Sir Abbott is, is not on the list anymore. He's the only one who actually wanted to do the vote. The others said no. The culprit would not be the only one saying, let's do this. So, until now, actually, Madame Raven is still the main culprit for me. Although, uh, the purple-haired one said something about docks, which is suspicious. But, let's keep that aside, shall we? Alright, let's continue. Since everyone is done, I would like to announce the results now. And then I will start by taking out the votes one by one. The first one says, not guilty. Since the voters are anonymous, we don't know whose vote that was just now. The second one says, also, not guilty. This is simply painful to watch. The third one says, and surprisingly, also not guilty. And the final one says, huh? What is it? Uh, it, it says guilty. What? I knew it. What? Why? Hey, hey, Trick, why would the criminal expose themselves like this? It wasn't the culprit who wrote that. What? what? Why? I had a doubt, but now I'm sure. Someone among the council... Someone among the council knows who the traitor is. He or she wrote it to allow us to investigate closely. That doesn't make sense. Why wouldn't they say it outright? They couldn't, because they didn't have any proof till now. The princess's kidnapping worked in their favor. He or she can use this opportunity to fish out the traitor via our help. Again with the whispering, what are you two up to? Seems like you will be stuck here for a while. What treachery is this? This just keeps getting worse. You cannot interrogate the council. Okay, let's start with Sir Abbott. Sir Abbott, can I have a word with you regarding the case? Isn't that... Isn't that why we are here? Why isn't Polly with you today? Your son is probably at the docks right now, searching all the ships for the princess. What can I say? The boy is crazy. 
The boy is a crazy fan of her, even after he got married. Can I now start the questioning? Uh, sure, ask away. Can you tell me where you were during the kidnapping? I was in the royal court getting ready for today's proceedings. I'm in charge of the cases which are represented in the court. Is there someone who can prove it? Uh, the guards in the court should have seen me a couple of times. But the guard by the princess chambers testified that all the councillors passed by them. That includes you too. Did I? I don't remember much though. Happens to me all the time. Please try and remember it. It's for your own good. Hmm. Now that I think about it, I did want to meet the king. It was about another case you were handling and I needed to speak to the king privately about it. You can confirm it with his majesty if you want. You do realize that you're a potential suspect at this point, right? You need to tell me more if you are planning on proving your innocence. I don't know what else is... I don't know what else to tell you. I already told you all I know. This doesn't help much. I will probably need to check your chambers if possible. Uh, sure. It's not like I have anything to hide. How are your relations with the royal family? They are good friends of mine. The previous queen was like a sister to me. Do you mean Princess Sarah's real mother? Yes, after she died of sickness, the king married again in a couple of years. That's the current queen of this country. Do you have anything against the king? Well, since you asked, I did ask for the princess's hand for my son Polly, but he flat out refused. Polly must have been devastated. No, I never told him. He then went on to marry my current daughter-in-law and is happy with two kids. Do you hold a grudge against the king for this? Yes, I did. But when my first grandchild was born, my rage just washed away in a sea of happiness. Try not to drown, old man. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, second, Sir Eisen. How are you doing today, Sir Eisen? You rigged it, didn't you? What? You purposely added a guilty vote to Trapezia, didn't you? Honestly, that was plan B. If all the votes were going to say not guilty, then I was going to switch one. But to my surprise, someone is actually aware about the traitor and wants us to catch him. I don't believe you. Nevertheless, you're going to answer my questions now. The guards by the princess chamber princess's chambers tell me that you went through there. Mind to elaborate on it? I was going to meet the king bearing a gift. What kind of gift? It was chest. It was a chest filled with the fanciest clothes money could buy. The king is a sack of her fashion. The princess could have been carried in that chest. I know what you're thinking. You think I trapped the princess in a chest and carried her out. I didn't you were I didn't know you were psychic. Psychic. I didn't know you were psychic. I didn't know you were psychic. Can I go and get tomorrow's lotto numbers now? Hilarious. But there's the thing. But here's the thing. The king wasn't in his room at that time, so the chest was never empty. If I had to, I needed to remove the clothes from the chest first and tell me where would I put them in a guarded area. You make a good point, so I hope you don't mind me looking in the chest and confirming it myself. Go right ahead. While you're at it, clean my room too. Hilarious. How is your relation with the royal family? It's purely... it's purely business. I don't perceive them as a friend or an enemy. I don't perceive them as a friend or an enemy, just business. Really, I would really be happy if someone was, was just a business associate bring me a chest full of fancy clothes. That was just me trying to butter the king for the deal I was working on with him. Besides, I have more to lose with the princess missing. How so? Merchandise. Who do you think was marketing the princess? I got a share on the profit for it. Now, why would I go and ruin such a lucrative deal by kidnapping the princess? This guy is really shady, but he makes a solid point too. I'll need to verify more things before I can confront him. Hmm. You said earlier that you were going to the docks. What business do you have there? Didn't I tell you I'm a businessman? 
I was going there to complete a deal. What kind of deal? Turnips. Ooh. Hello. Our country's main was our country's main export is turnip. I have a responsibility to make sure that the ship goes properly. Since we stopped all the ships, that one also came back here. So, what were you planning to do with it? I was going to scan the entire ship for the princess, and if found empty, I would immediately dispatch it. What if you are the traitor and this was your plan all along? Your plan all along? Then why don't you come with me and see for yourself? I might take you up on your offer. That's actually even more suspicious because we found ourselves a turnip merchant when entering the castle. Although... Hmm, no, that was bef we saw that happening before the princess was reported missing. Hmm, okay. Okay. So the princess was probably in that merchant's cargo. Yeah, probably. How are you, Sir Law? Terrible. A useless man is standing in front of me asking how my day was. Nice to meet you too. So, can you tell me what you were doing the whole day? What are you, my wife? Don't forget you have to take me clothes shopping tomorrow, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to meet the king. And? Nothing. That's it. After that, I went to the royal court and was waiting for the others to show up. Why did you meet the king? Usual business. I meet the king every day before court to notify him about today's events and such. Did everybody know this pattern? Everyone in the council and the royal family did. The guards are changed every day so they would know. He took advantage of this pattern. He took advantage of this pattern to kidnap the princess, or probably someone else did. Hmm. How well do you get along with the royal family, Sir Lore? Me? Nothing special. But my wife is especially close to the Queen and has tea sessions with her with her often. That must be nice. Yes, except I'm not invited. It is a blessing in sort of way. How so? I have a wife and three daughters, so you tell me. Wow, your life is more miserable than me. Than mine. <laughs> uh, nothing much was revealed from his statements. I'll need to dig deeper. And now the final suspect. Raven. Good day, Madam Raven. Let us be clear about one thing. I treated the princess like she was my own daughter. I kickstarted her career when the king opposed it. I would never kidnap my own daughter. In that case, you won't have any problem problem giving me your testimony, right? <sighs> Whatever. Why don't you start by telling me how your day was? Never ask a lady how her day went until you are committed to hear the whole thing. To start with, I took a shower for one hour, then I had my hair done at the dresses. Then I went to take measurements for my dress, and then I had some tea and biscuits for breakfast. Whoa, you're a very busy person. Don't pull something with all the hard work you're doing for the kingdom. Hmph. Men will never understand the problems of the womankind. I was asking, where were you doing the kidnapping, and what were you doing? Oh, why didn't you say so? I was in my chambers, letting the facial set in. What's a facial? I can think of a few things that are facial. <laughs> <sighs> you poor guy. No wonder your skin is so rough. What, because I never had a facial yet? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to stop with the dirty jokes now. Sorry for living in reality. Facial is a process where you apply cream to your face and let it set for a couple of hours. A couple of hours, eh? <laughs> it makes your skin glow. It, I just... I had just completed the facial when I heard that the princess was kidnapped. Is there anyone who can confirm this? Well, uh, no. 
<laughs> I was in my chambers the whole time, alone. Do you mind if I check? Do you mind if we check your chambers? Just make sure to clean up afterwards. I don't like messy things. So it seems you had good relationship with the princess. Of course, she had talent as a singer and the good looks to be on stage. But the king didn't like it one bit at first. He said that jumping around, singing was not very loyal behavior. Now look at her, top of her field with millions of fans to boot. This was her calling. You must be very proud of her. Of course, why wouldn't I be? She is desired by everyone. She could easily start a war if she just said so. That's a weird way of putting it. Say what you will, but her desire to sing made her into the singer she is today. It doesn't seem like she would harm the princess on purpose, but she is close enough to let the princess drop her guard. Hmm. I talked with every counselor. Now to start phase two of my plan. So, did we get anything from the council? No, but uh, after this I will. Lend me your ear, I need to tell you something. Whisper whisper mata mata! Are you sure about this? <laughs> Time is short, move it. Well, it's your funeral. Okay guys, I will be right back, don't go anywhere, okay? So, what now? We are waiting for Felicia to search your chambers. I don't think that the people here are stupid enough to leave something in their own room. That's what I thought too, until I talked with every one of you. What? I didn't ask Felicia to search your rooms entirely. I was just... It was just to look for a specific object. Something that the kidnapper forgot to wipe out. What is he saying? Did I say something? What is it that I forgot? This sociopath hasn't been nothing more than trouble for me ever since he showed up. I need to stop him somehow. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. What is it now? I was going to meet Polly at the rooftops. I'll need to get going now. Don't go anywhere, okay? I don't think anyone will stay if you are not here. Come on, I'll be back in five minutes, okay? What is he planning? Rooftops, is it? Oh. Okay, when the real culprit feels cornered and they come up to strike a deal with me, I'll catch them. If this doesn't work, the princess is gone for good. Why is it raining all of a sudden anyway? This like some feels like something out of a horror story. Oh, hello. You had to keep digging, didn't you? Hmm? You were the last person I would suspect of doing this. Madam Raven. Well, 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 well. She was my main... <laughs> she was my main suspect, actually. You should have stayed in the gutter where you crawled out of from. Uh, where is the princess? She's on her way to another kingdom on a ship full of turnips. Turnips? You mean you used Sir Eisen's ship to trap him? You were really close, kid, but you couldn't bring it together. I don't think so. Felicia, get her! Felicia? Here you go. Did you think I was stupid or something? I knocked her out from behind before coming here. And now, goodbye, you pessimistic cop. Oh no. I would have accepted a bribe! <laughs> What a terrible choice of last words. Oh well, I better get out of here before someone shows up. Is she gone? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Alright, Mrs. Snuggles, let's settle down here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're really lucky, Uncle Drag, that we just have to fly through here. It's a good thing we taught the dragon how to fly first, isn't that right, Uncle Drag? <laughs> it looks like Uncle Jack has really lost it this time. You know we can drop him off to the asylum right now if you want, Mina. That freaking demon! I'll kill her, I will freaking kill her! 
Deep breaths, Uncle Drag. What were you doing up here anyway? Who was that woman? Isn't it obvious, Ina? Isn't it obvious, Ina? She's definitely Uncle's wife. Couldn't you just see the hatred in her eyes for him? I know where the princess is, but how do I get there fast? <gasps> of course! Kids, I want to find a person called Felicia for me. Kids, I want you to find a person called Felicia for me. She must be around here somewhere unconscious. Where are you going? Me? I'm going to bring the star of the show back on stage. And off he goes with the dragon. Was it just me or Uncle Drag looked cool for a moment? Was it just me or did Uncle Drag look cool right now? Don't worry, even a pessimistic corpse like him has his moments. <laughs> well, let's just go and find this Felicia person. This... This, this really is a ship. A merchant ship, to be exact. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mr. Merchant? It is such an honor to have you on board, my lady. What do you want from me anyway? Well, uh, no harm in telling you now. Before that, Lady Eva, but my payment. Did you just interrupt me, Aunt Merchant? Uh, yeah, no, no. Good. Let us keep it that way. You see, Princess, the prince of my kingdom has come of age and is really interested in you. <laughs> you. And his father is interested in your kingdom. Ah, I get it. If your prince marries the princess, he can claim a right to the throne at of right your kingdom. I, I will never marry someone who will hurt my home. Frankly, frankly, dear, your opinion is not exactly necessary. Please, please, I just want to go home. As if. We're already near the border, thanks to Lady Eva with the sky to serve as horizon. Nobody is coming for you, my dear lady. So you might as well accept your fate. What the... Am I seeing things? What is it? Uh, I'm not sure. What? What? Do you see a ship? I can't see it. Look higher, ma'am. What are you blabbing about? Down, boy, down! What's going on here? Get out of the way! <laughs> Bluins, we got rid of the merchant already. Oh, sorry for pushing you in the water. Don't worry. I heard that fat helps you float. Help <laughs> me. Yeah, that right, fat. So keep on flailing. <laughs> keep on flailing like a magic orb. You? How? So I was right. You were involved. <laughs> hey, are you here to help me? Sorry, if I had known you were in that horse cart at the palace gate, I would have never had to come to this. Where do you think you're going? Thanks for taking care of our princess, Eva, but it's late. And she really needs to go home now. Not on my watch. Guards, catch them! Goodbye, Eva, and don't ever come back again. You're a terrible guest. <laughs> Where are you holding me? Where are you holding me? Nah. What? Why are you holding me? Sorry, no time of delicacy. Fly, Mr. Snuggles. I really hate his name. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not really suiting to be a name for a blood... Well, if you want your dragon to have a reputation of a bloodlusty dragon, I don't know, Mr. Snuggles is perhaps not the way to go with it. But, uh, hey, Mr. Snuggles. The pet dragon. No, I missed. I remember your name now. Drag, 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 <laughs> drag. Do you want to save the game? Yes, of course. Legs in the air, Madam Raven. <laughs> what legs? Okay. That's her officer, the one who pushed my Uncle Drake off the roof. We are so devastated over our uncle that we need lots of candy to calm down. Okay. You're using the 
the supposed death of your uncle as an excuse to get candy? Oh god. Oh, you poor kids, don't you? Don't worry. When I am done here, then I will take you to the candy store, okay? My word, what's going on here, Miss Felicia? Yes, I would like to know too. Quit playing innocent, Raven. The kids saw you push Drake off the tower. Wh what? She killed Drake? Don't lose your head, Abbott. I'm just as surprised as you are. Are you saying that they are lying? Of course they are lying. Why would I kill that droopy eyes? I don't know, you tell me. Very funny, Sir Eisen. I'm asking for proof. Where's the proof that I killed him? Oh, I never said you killed him. What? what? He's probably flying back here at any moment. <sighs> Poor kids can't accept that their uncle is dead. Listen to me carefully. Your uncle is... Very much alive. Dead? <laughs> <laughs> those googly eyes. Oh, those googly eyes. Really. We've reached our destination. Thanks for flying the depressed airlines. We hope your ride was as miserable as we are. Sarah, my child, you're safe. Father. It's okay now, you're home. I was so scared. What, what the hell? Why is, he, why is she back? Calm down. You can still salvage the situation. Sarah, you're okay. I'm so relieved. Aunt, Aunt Raven? Stay away from her, you witch. The drag? Princess, she's the one who engineered the whole plan against you. You're slime. Since when are you on the first name base with... <laughs> you slime. Since when are you on the first name bases with the princess? That's what the guy is worried about. That, that's not possible, Drag. She, she's the closest to me. She won't hurt me. You had her, Drag. Princess, the trail is only done by the ones who are close to us. Princess, just standing there quietly and realizing she fucked up. I honestly don't know why you did it, but I'm going to prove to everyone here that you are the true culprit. Bring it on, boy. Let's end this song, shall we? You are 500 years too early to defeat me in a debate. <laughs> wow, really? You're that old? Oh, stop! <laughs> you have paid dearly for that. Okay, let's go. Please, stop, you two. We, we can talk this out, Raven. You say that, but you already suspect me too, isn't that right, your majesty? Uh, Don't worry, I'll come out of this innocent. Keep dreaming, lady. Why don't you start by telling me how I did it? Did, did what? How did I manage to enter a tightly secured room without a key? The reason you managed to enter the room was because the room was opened by this person from the inside, and we know someone was already inside, and that was Eva. The spy Eva had already infiltrated the room disguised as a statue. After knocking down the princess, she used the princess's key to unlock the door from within. Ah, Drake was right. You miserable little cockroach. Try different in Seoul already. So, you say that this Eva person, whoever she is, helped me out. For an old lady, you pick up things fast. Then. Pray, tell me how did I manage to move the princess out of the palace without anyone noticing? Mind also telling me how did this Eva person got out while you were at it? Like, Both these questions can be answered with this simple solution. <laughs> and that is? Eva was disguised as this person. Eisen. Sir Eisen had gone to meet the king today with a chest full of clothes. Eva disguised herself as Sir Eisen and carried the princess in her own clothes box, which was in her room. 
Besides, two counselors walking together will arouse less suspicion. Ah, I remember now. What? The kidnapper told me that she was skied as Horizon to bypass the security at the docks. What's this? I was supposed to be your fall guy. <laughs> fall guys. Okay, there, there are actually a lot of mentions of, of pretty new games. Killing two birds with one stone. You little snotty brat of a cop. Drake was right. She's not looking any more or less suspicious with her parsing that way. Damn it, damn it all. Aunt Raven? Shut up! Shut the hell up! Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I was just perplexed a little. I didn't mean it. If that's a little, then you need an anger management class. Probably the same way you need an happy hour. Why don't you admit to your crimes already? It's been a good story, but you're still missing the core of it. Do you have any proof that I was in a room? <laughs> you don't... You just don't know when to quit, do you? What? Cat got your tongue drag? I, uh, only helped me out here. You're also in the princess's chambers. Uh, hey, don't drag. Hey, uh, don't drag me in. I just have the princess's lyric. Hey, hey, don't drag me in. I just have the princess's lyrics book. That's it. Raven, you can't escape now. What pathetic thing are you going to present this time? Not one, but two evidences, Raven. What? These two evidences clash with each other. Hmm. Let's think about it, huh? So we got a broken statue, Star Abbott's comments, Raven's testimony in Lyric's book. L uh. Hmm. Raven did mention something about Lyric's. I wonder. Yeah, the lyrics book is something. Eisen's comments, Polly's testimony, Drag's badge, room security, Raven's... Yeah, Raven's comments. She mentioned something about a song, but... The song was never finished. Tell me, Madam Raven. Since the princess is like a daughter to you, you probably know every one of her songs. Of course! I even have some of her merchandise. Then, can you tell me the lyrics of this song? Uh, which one? Tell me the lyrics of this song. Oh, um, how was it called? Um, I need to check the evidence for this one. Um, where, where is the giant present? Lyrics book, yeah, details. The song listed are Reborn, Evertale, Desire, Rising Moon, Soul of Angel. Write in the song Desire. Yeah, let's ask for that one, shall we? Desire. Some fight to protect, some fight to destroy, many fight to gain something. No matter which route you take in life, everything is controlled by desire. Princess Sarah, do you have something to add to this? That's so very suspicious because the princess was actually still writing that song. It was not published yet. So how the fuck did Raven know about it if the door was locked? And the princess didn't let anyone in. Bastard. Princess Sarah, do you have something to add to this? Wh what's wrong, Sarah? That song. Where did you get it? What are you talking about? Isn't this your song? Allow me to clarify. The song is written by the princess, but it's incomplete. Wh what? Why? Because she was kidnapped when she was writing it. Huh? So, tell me something, Raven. How do you know a song that hasn't been released to the public yet? I... I... Madam Raven, this song is officially over. Drag was right. 
this is super highly effective. And she did not come out. Well, she, she came out very suspicious. And she is, in fact, the second culprit. We got you, Madam Raven. We got you. This shouldn't have happened. You weren't supposed to win. You weren't supposed to find her. But why, Raven? Why would you go so far? Why, you ask? It's pretty simple, your majesty. To take her away from this miserable hellhole. That's enough, Raven. Away from this kingdom that doesn't realize her talent. They don't care about the princess's songs. All they see is a cute girl and moneymaker. I'm looking at you, Aizen. Hmm. <laughs> She has a beautiful soul, but nobody saw that. Nobody in this kingdom had the eye to see it. So you wanted to take her away because people weren't paying enough attention to her? No. If anything, they were paying too much attention to her at the wrong places. If you know what I mean. Hmm, yeah, right. The kidnapping and murders and attempted murders was all for her sake. No, I am not that sentimental. I had my reasons to do it, too. You don't mean... The war 20 years ago. One between us and the Boboa Kingdom. Yes, the one where my husband sacrificed himself to defend the Trichal Fort. <laughs> where the king decided to simply hand over that, some, for that same fort to the Balboa Kingdom as a peace treaty offer. We did all we could, Raven. If we had continued fighting, both kingdoms would have suffered heavy losses. And so you decided to walk all over the bodies of soldiers who sacrificed themselves to protect your home? Are you saying we should have sent more people to their deaths, Raven? Nice lot. How can you take his side? Your own son was... He died protecting his home. Which he succeeded since the war stopped. It's true that his death pains me. But that was the only choice we had to save as many people as possible. Many would not agree. But if we, who people look up to and doing something like this, how do you think the common people will react? Aunt Raven, I just, I just didn't want you to go through your life being held back because of these incompetent fools. Were you aware that the people you were working with wanted to force the princess, the princess in a marriage? What? N no, they, they were going to contract her and work with her. That's wrong, Aunt Raven. We are planning on using me to capture the throne. And no, no, I, I think I was handing you to savages? Aunt Raven. I get that you had good intentions, but you let anger cloud your judgment. I know my home isn't perfect, but that doesn't mean that I should just abandon it. I should strive to change it. <laughs> Look at me being lectured by a child. I'm sorry, Raven, but we have to arrest you now. I understand. Sorry for pushing you off the roof. I'm just glad you didn't succeed. Who were you working with anyway? You mean the country, right? I was working with... The Skion Empire. The Skion Empire? This is gonna be a pain. What's the Skion Empire? The Empire whose goal is clearly world conquest. They play nice on the outside but use backhanded methods against foes. Be careful. They will try more to destroy this kingdom now that their plan has failed. I'm not worried. Sir Abbott? As long as we have our princes and that grump with us, we can't lose. Uncle Abbott. Did you call me a grump just now? <laughs> but you are a grump. The princes and the grump, huh? What a weird force we have with us. If it wasn't for them, I would have probably lost the little things that I still hold dear to me. Thank you, everyone. That was a pretty long day. I hope Aunt Raven will be okay. What happened cannot be changed, but we can certainly strive towards a better future. I would like to know, though. Who put that guilty vote in the, in the box? I think I have a vague idea. Yeah. It says Sir Abbott, actually, yeah. It was you, wasn't it, Sir Abbott? So, you figured it out. 
I was a bit surprised when you accepted to vote, but now it all makes sense that you wanted to trap Raven. So, uh, what now? That's right, I almost forgot. Your Majesty, since I saved the day, I would like to pass a petition for... Uh, Your Majesty, we have an urgent meeting right now. We must leave immediately. R right now? Hey! Hey, don't, don't ignore, ignore me. Uh, yes, yes, you do, Princess Sarah. Oh, okay. <laughs> God damn it, my petition. Help me out here, Abbots. Uh, oh my, look at the time. We should also get going, son. Um, okay. <laughs> Sir Eisen, Sir Lore? I'm going home now. Uh, let me give you a ride. <laughs> Kids, Felicia, Mr. Snuggles? Miss Felicia, how about that candy you promised? In return, we'll let you fly on Mr. Snuggles. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> Goodbye, Uncle Drag. We'll see you at home. He got so ignored so badly. <laughs> Sigh. <sighs> Why do my days always end like this? Oh well, back to the drawing board. I wonder if I can mail some itching powder with, <laughs> with faulty packaging. <laughs> I should try that tomorrow. So, his goal is to just make the life of a postman... What, miserable? <laughs> Why? Because they're evil? Okay. This is bad, this is bad, this is, this is really bad. How can you be so calm in this situation? They saw my face, I can never go back to Rachel again anymore. Not to mention we failed. What's going to happen to us? Is that true? You failed. Oh god, they are here. Shut the hell up already. Judging by your tone, you really did fail. Please, spare me. Well, look at that, it's Ethan and Emily. Look, Emily, the great Eve of the wind failed at a simple task of kidnapping. She should be so embarrassed. She should go kill herself. Should the fatso also kill himself? No, he can't. Oh, thank God. He should run and go as far away from us within five minutes or we are killing him ourselves. Uh, what? Didn't you hear her, fatso? Run. <laughs> so, I failed. What now? What should we do, Emily? Same thing we do every time, Ethan. What are you- We wish you the best in the next life. So, don't hold any grudges against us. <sighs> you bastards! What the hell do you think you're doing? We missed a heart. Barely. Like I said, Eva, don't hold any grudge against us. We're simply following orders. Those traitorous bastards. I'll kill them. I'll kill them all. She ran away, Emily. That's because she ran out careful, Ethan. So, what now, Emily? It seems we must get ready for the next plan. Does this mean we finally get to play too? Yes, we must prepare for the NVIDIA games. Finally. NVIDIA? Like, the graphics card NVIDIA? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this was the end of Medieval Cop 3. Next episode is episode 4, the NVIDIA games. Become a fan on Congregate. Yeah, Congregate is the website you can play the game on for free. Alright guys, that was it again. It was the end of episode 3, The Princess and the Grump. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. That way I know you actually enjoyed it and I can keep on giving you the content that you want. And also, consider subscribing. It's free and that way we'll see each other in the next video. Alright, ciao!